Here are four places you can shop at in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Hey, it's Jess, the fun size foodie, and I've eaten and explored in over 12 countries and 30 plus major cities. I just finished a trip to Vietnam and Thailand and we did a lot of shopping there. And so I wanted to show you guys where you can shop and what I recommend. We'll go from the most expensive to the cheapest. Let's get started. First place we have is Ben Tan Market and it's overpriced. It's such a popular destination for tourists, so the shop owners will hike up the price tremendously here. During the early mornings, the fish market is open and the rest of the day is an outdoor market. It's good to go just once for the experience and see what it's like. Bargaining is allowed here, but just know that if you bargain and don't end up buying anything, they will likely cuss you out. I've had that experience before, which was completely rude and not normal. Next up we have is Landmark 81. It's the tallest skyscraper in Ho Chi Minh City, and we tried getting tickets, but we failed, so we hung out at the mall instead. The shopping mall is on the first few floors of the building while they have an ice rink at the bottom floor. And they have a food court featuring all kinds of international food. But actually, my favorite thing about this place is when we ended up at Win Mart. I'm at a Win Mart. Just like, I think it's the same as a Walmart at Landmark 81. I see blueberry pockies, but I don't, I don't know if we have this in the U.S. I might just get it. They had so many different kinds of snacks and instant ramen that I've never seen before. In a future video, I'm going to show you guys everything we bought that doesn't exist in the U.S. and just was interesting to us. You can obviously tell I'm a super foodie because this is what I got excited for. But anyways, check out Landmark 81 and if you want to see the skyscraper, book tickets way in advance unlike us. And thirdly, we have the Saigon Center. It's another shopping mall similar to Landmark 81. It has all your classic well-known brands. But also at Saigon Center, we went to Phuc Lam. It's Vietnam's version of Starbucks, but with better coffee. But if you want to bargain, go across the street to Saigon Square. So I didn't have enough footage of Saigon Square because I didn't think I was going to talk about them in any of my videos. So I'm going to fill in with a bargaining story. So I bought two t-shirts at Saigon Square. This one's mine and another one for my baby nephew in his size. The initial price for one of these t-shirts was 360,000 Vietnamese dollars, which is about $14.40 in USD. There was no way I was gonna pay about 30 bucks for two t-shirts. After some bargaining on my end, I got it down to 200,000 Vietnamese dollars each, which is about $8 USD each. I was about to consider it, but then my aunt came in and said 400k for both was just way too expensive um, and said to bargain it down to 100k for both. I thought that was freaking crazy to drop it by that much, but she said the shirt was poor quality and that it would just shrink in the washer. If anything, we could get it somewhere else because a lot of these vendors sell the same thing. The guy overheard our conversation and said that the shirt was in good quality and it wouldn't shrink in the washer. He said no to our offer and so I was forced to walk away. But the guy stopped us from walking away and then said 300k for both. And then she said 200k for both and he said no. We were about to walk away again and then he stops us again. He says, wait, wait, okay, okay, 200k for both. And so we had a deal. I thought that was freaking crazy from 360k each to 200k for both. Dude, that's $4 a t-shirt. My aunt came in clutch. I thought I was pretty good at bargaining, but after this, definitely I got some stuff to learn. Ooh, and then as we were walking around the rest of the square, we saw the same guy at another stall selling the same thing. And he saw us and said, hey guys, t-shirts for 100k each. We were like, oh my god, this guy is everywhere. And lastly, we got Thung Din Market. Tourists typically don't come here, so you're going to get local prices at this place. You can buy clothes, food, trinkets, and souvenirs while you're here. 
Bargaining is totally allowed here and I promise you, you won't get cussed out if you don't buy anything. And remember to bring some cash just in case they don't take card. A lot of these aunties are pretty old school so cash is preferred. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. If you found this video helpful, you also might like this video.